Hi everybody, Sarah here at the Big Blue House Homestead. I've been doing a lot of pantry prepping, trying to clean things out, trying to get rid of all the old stuff to start with the new things that are gonna be coming in because I'm getting close to my garden season. I'll start harvesting in a few months, but until then I need to clear out and start making space. So it's time to use up some of those things that, you know, you stuck in the freezer and you didn't know what to do with. Sorry, it's dripping. But yeah, like you froze a ton of squash like me. See, it's dripping. I got a towel, don't worry. <laughs> but you froze a lot of squash. And the problem with squash is squash is very like flimsy. It's not good. It's mushy and flimsy. So it doesn't just like heat in a pan really well. It makes great casseroles if you throw it into there. Same with canned squash. But I like to make a soup out of it. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Because I wanted to share this in case you have things in your freezer you're trying to use up. And this is just a very quick, easy recipe. So yeah, squash soup it is for lunch today. Okay, so I have about, I don't know, a third of an onion that I'm just caramelizing and sauteing until it's translucent. And that's the beginning of my soup. It's okay if you get some of these darker pieces. It just sweetens them up a little. But I'm just going to cook this until it's completely ready. I put olive oil in here to saute it, but if you prefer butter, that's fine. I'm just going to add half a spoon of garlic for flavor. And I'm going to cook that along with the rest of my onions. Okay, now that my garlic is cooked and it's very aromatic, I'm gonna deglaze my pan. Sorry, that's a little loud. But I'm gonna deglaze my pan with two cups of chicken broth. You can use beef, you can use vegetable, whatever you prefer. But I'm just gonna deglaze this a little bit. And then pour the rest of my broth in. All right, I'm gonna add in my squash, and this is probably three or four squash. I can't remember, I should have labeled. But you're basically looking for enough to sit in the broth, but you don't need it covered. Okay, I'm gonna put a lid on it, and I'm gonna let it just sit here and simmer for like 15 to 20 minutes, and that's gonna cook my squash thoroughly. And then we're gonna go ahead and season and finish off the soup. Okay, once your squash is tender enough that when you smash it with a spoon, it breaks through the skins, then it's time to go ahead and season. So I'm seasoning with some herbs that I dried last year. It's just probably a half a teaspoon, but it's basil, thyme, and oregano. Uh, choice is up to you what flavors you want to add, but I prefer the herbs. And then I'm just going to give it a nice sprinkle of salt because it needs a little salt. <laughs> and then I like pepper in my soup. If you're not a pepper fan, you don't have to add it. But we're just going to add a couple sprinkles of pepper as well. And then I'm actually going to make sure this all gets blended down in so that my herbs will actually begin to incorporate into all the flavor. All right, I'm gonna let this simmer for about five minutes so that all that flavor gets in and that salt melts. And then I'm gonna taste my broth to see what it tastes like. If it's not seasoned enough, I can always add more seasoning. Okay, I've tasted my broth and it's perfect the way it is. So I've got an emulsion blender. Uh, you can put this to a regular blender if you want to. You can eat it chunky. Or you can do like me and just blend it up a little bit. Okay, I took it off the heat because it is very hot. So please be careful if you're blending it on your stove. Turn your heat off, whatever you need to do. But it's basically blended down to the way I want it. So I'm going to show you how I serve it up because that's what makes it even more special. Okay, you can finish this with heavy cream if you wanted to, or a little half and half just to make it a little more smooth. But I like mine with a dollop of sour cream in the middle. And I just stick my spoon in the side. And then I like to do an extra sprinkle of pepper because I like pepper in my soups. And you can also put a tab of butter if you want that buttery flavor, but it's pretty full of flavor as it is. So anyway, so that's how I make my squash soup from the freezer. Very hearty, very good, and it's a nice soup. And you can also put it in a mug if you don't want to do it this way. But the cool part is, is once you get that sour cream kind of mixed in, it makes it really creamy. You can do yogurt as well, and it helps cool it down a little bit. So thank you guys for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. And leave a comment below, and I will answer them, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.